For all your TCG needs, make sure to check out alphatradingcardgames.com. What's poppin' everybody? This is Saber Wolf 4. Welcome to another battle video for Pokemon Showdown Gen 4 OU. Good stuff, good stuff. No nonsense. Eventually, I'm probably going to do Gen 3 too. I think a lot of people are going to like that, uh, considering my Battle Frontier videos and stuff. But for now, it's going to be Gen 4. So, putting in some work against the Star Me with uh, Thunder Punch, I'm really surprised I did so little damage, even before he used Cosmic, um, cosmic Power. Uh, I don't know why he was doing that with Star Me, but anyway. Going to throw in the Aerodactyl. Uh, the Focus Ash didn't activate still, so I'm just going to keep attacking, I guess. Go for Thunder Punch. Uh, do enough damage, and then with Vacuum vacuum Wave, we can get that finishing attack. So that's two Pokemon down. It's really good, as long as you can do something like this with your Blaziken. Uh, it's good enough. Using them as a, a suicide lead, I guess, is the name people would use. Just a very offensive lead. And... Uh, this dude just scooped already. Oh, come on, dude. Anyway, whatever. It wasn't much of a battle. Uh, this guy's going to start with a, a bronze on. Another good thing I can target with. Um, damn, got the berry. So that didn't do as much. I can still kill the dude, though. But instead, I'm going to superpower. He throws in the lantern. Um, he took that pretty well, I'm not going to lie. Um, I mean, we're full in terms of attack you know I'm, I'm maxed out in terms of blaze against attack but still wasn't enough i guess when you don't have that item to give you an additional boost so this must be a very physically defensive lantern and of course it has all the hp so i can stay but it's probably a bad idea um because he didn't do stealth rock yeah i think it just makes the most sense to switch i i get to keep the Focus Sash, and uh, all of our stats went down because of Super Power and Overheat, so Blaziken isn't going to be doing shit. But I'm going to try one more Super Power, and it's going to Thunder Wave. Uh, Lantern can't heal at the end of the day, so I can try. And got paralyzed too. He's going to go for Toxic Croak. Super Power once again. I get the critical hit. That was really lucky. I'll admit that. So we get a KO. Uh, Blaziken at this point, now that it's paralyzed, is probably useless. I don't have a lot of speed on it anyway. Um, but, okay, Surf. Almost dead, but the Sash worked. And we miss on the Overheat. That's too bad. Um, and at this point, I can just do a Vacuum Wave. And uh, that must have been a critical hit because it died. Uh, yeah, it, it must have been. Unless I'm mistaken. I don't know. But anyway. So nasty plot. This is pretty dangerous. Pretty dangerous indeed. Um, so it goes for the psychic. Yeah, I was going to make a different attack. Instead of vacuum wave, he's going to be doing nasty plot on there. Anyway, and right now... I can only throw my Lotic. I mean, if he has Thunderbolt, I'm pretty much dead. But it does Psychic instead. So we take that pretty nicely. Surf isn't quite going to do it, but I did put some damage in. And uh, my Lotic is out. That's too bad. So what are we going to throw in next? I mean, the thing is with Azelf, I'm going to throw in my own Azelf and just risk it here. And... He switches into the Magnet Zone. Flamethrower does the job easily on that. So that's pretty good. So now I don't have to worry about uh, Azelf's Nasty Plot. And I stay in. I, I leave him to die because if I if he if I switch and does Pursuit, it's the same thing. So I might as well just die and see what he has. If he doesn't have Pursuit. If he would have used something different, maybe I could have gotten an attack in. So Swamp Hurt against the Weavile. I don't think the Weavile can do much. Gonna throw that at Zelf again. And Earthquake. I should have seen that coming. Should have done like Waterfall or something. Um, goes for Psychic. Does a decent chunk. But Azelf is out now. So that's pretty nice. So just Bronzong and Weavile. 
uh, we can deal with these guys uh, go for waterfall and Bronzong even flinches I gotta admit I had a lot of hacks in this match or some crucial hacks at least so Bronzong is out Weavile can't really do shit I mean I got three Pokemon left so it's a GG he's gonna go for that sword stance and waterfall I mean I, I could have done earthquake there's one Pokemon left I'm always doing dumb shit anyway night slash don't even die and then waterfall to finish this guy off so GG once again and now for this next battle this one's gonna be a long one um Swellow gonna do substitute so we're gonna thunder punch I'm not afraid um, I know what this Swellow does I mean it's one set pretty much use the toxic orb um, fire orb and thunder punch do the job if you wanted to make that attack activate my focus sash so Swellow's out so one one dude is out and then depending on what he throws out Metagross, uh, Bullet Punch, yeah, I should have done Vacuum Wave. I thought I was going to be faster, but I should have should have known he was going to do like Bullet Punch. Anyway, got one KO. I get the free switch in now against the Metagross. Uh, Swampert makes a lot of sense. So, we're going to Earthquake, and he's going to switch on to his own Swampert. Ah, protect, uh, dumbass move, I should have known. Anyway. So it's Swamp Herd versus Swamp Herd. Should I stay in? You know what? Mill Tank. It's going to work out better. And it does the Stealth Rock. I'm going to put my own Stealth Rocks here. Or I can do Body Slam. So Stealth Rock. He decided to stay in. But I mean, Mill Tank is my physical wall. He's got a lot of defense as it is. He's not really going to be doing much. And eventually I might get the Paralysis with Body Slam. That's going to be good. So milk drink let's get some free healing and body slam earthquake uh, it's actually kind of weird it doesn't seem like this guy has leftovers I think he has quick claw or some shit so milk drink throws in the infernape now I can switch uh, if I stay in I'm gonna get close combated I know I can take at least one I should be able to and uh, I decide to risk it. I do get that big ass damage, but we get that body slam too. I mean, I pretty much sacrificed the mill tank here, but I'm gonna get that free switch in this way. Mill tank, I set up the stealth rocks, whatever, instead of just losing another Pokemon. Uh, Zelf, I mean, easy kill. Uh, I'm faster. So. He's going to have to sacrifice the Infernape if he switches. is probably not much point. So Thunderbolt, easy kill. And um, what are you going to throw in? He has two Pokemon I haven't seen yet. Metagross and Swampert aren't going to be very good against Azelf right now. A softened up Swampert, at least. If it had full HP, it could have worked. Could have gotten an attack in. Uh, Metagross won't be very good. I think I can take a, a Bullet Punch. Unless he has choice bat or something on it. Uh, but maybe we can still take one. So he's thinking hard. Um, you got four Pokemon, you got still got nothing to counter ourself. Anyway, uh, we have the same amount, but I think I got some good control. At least two Pokemon that he has are aren't gonna be very good against the Zelf. So, yeah, taking a long time, but, you know, these things are pretty common, especially back in the Wi-Fi days. So he does decide to throw in the Metagross. I don't think that was wise. Uh, I guess he thought maybe I don't have Flamethrower, but I do. Sepita. He actually should have thrown that in the first place because it's faster. Um, this was going to actually either force me to switch or just sa sacrifice the Azelf. So he kind of wasted the Metagross for nothing, I'd say. Uh, Sepital is faster than Azelf. So I can switch. I guess Magnezone probably can't hurt this dude. So Leaf Storm. Damn, that did a lot. 
but um, we took it, we sort of took it well enough and I, I'll be able to take another one. I mean, Sebertal can't do shit like use Earthquake and physical moves, so if he does Brick Break or Earthquake, I'm dead. Hopefully he doesn't have those. I mean, I had to risk it. Uh, maybe it was, I should have just sacrificed the Azelf there. Uh, but if he doesn't have any of those moves, it, it is going to work out me switching into the Magnezone. And I can use Protect too. We can just do this scout a little bit. So he's going to go for the Swampert there. And the Protect is useless as fuck. Should have known once again. But uh, I'm going to try it again because he's not going to switch again. He wants to have the Swampert now against the Magnezone. So I do get that little bit of switching, a little bit of healing. And uh, we can do my Lotic. Uh, goes for Waterfall as opposed to Earthquake. Yeah, predicting that I was going to switch, but the Pokemon that I threw in was good against Water. So Ice Beam, Sebatalizad, beautiful. I mean, I had a feeling he was going to switch in too. And now that that's out of the way, I mean, just two Pokemon left. I, I got this in the bag. I mean, Swampert. I mean, it's fair game against the Milotic. And the other Pokemon, I don't know what that is. But we got four Pokemon. I should should have something to deal with it. I mean, we got Azelf with Explosion too at the end of the day. So the Surf, Swampert is out. And just one Pokemon left. What is it going to be? And uh, I don't know why you're thinking hard. You got one one guy left, dude. It's just one. But it's going to be a GG. I mean, it's going to be a GG. It's a Blaziken too. Wow. So you got your own Blaziken. Surprised. Uh, that's not going to be very good though. So superpower, yeah, that's going to kill the Melodic. But then all I got to do is just throw in the Azelf and just Psychic that ass. That's going to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed these battles. I will definitely be posting more. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. What a...